Hey man, you think we need an intro? Bam, bam, cut, swing, cut, aim. Bam, bam, cool, well, what's up, brain? Intro. Welcome to Cuts and Cuisine with Cool Will and Supreme, a show about barbers and the food we love to eat. Today, we have Kiki Ford, Arthur, entrepreneur, and Brown Tech. What's up, world? Welcome to a new episode of Cuts and Cuisine with Cool Will and Supreme and Trey Diggity. We have this is a long awaited episode. This lady is so hard to track down. She's world renowned. She's world renowned. This is the Brow Queen, DCB Princess, Key Key Four. So we're here with Key Key Four out at a restaurant called Broken Egg Cafe. Another. I apologize, let me rephrase that. Another Broken Egg. So we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. We're gonna interview her, view her, also and eat. So I have a few questions for you, Kiwana. <laughs> I just I killed her. <laughs> yeah, that's what the Kiki stand for, for real. Why would you tell these people my government? Browse by Kiki. Another BBK. <laughs> so, BBK, a few questions. How long have you been in the business? Um, about six years. Six years? Yeah. So, what was it that prompted you to become a brow technician, if you will? Well, um, I didn't even know that I was going to be a brow technician. Really? So, yeah, because I thought I was going to be an orthodontist. So well, she do have a pretty smile, so. So, in the midst of me going through dental assisting school, I kind of discovered brows in the midst of it. And I was using that money that I was making doing brows at the house to pay for dental assisting school. Once I graduated, I ended up going to work and then I quit. And I just went to school and for brows. My next question to you is, is there anybody in the brow profession that you look up to? Just like researching, working online, and just I kind of just went with it. I kind of was like my own inspiration at that time. I feel, so, what, you, I feel what you're saying. Uh, I wasn't speaking of just in the city. Okay. I was speaking in general. <laughs> I mean, people across the world. There's other people besides yourself that does brows. That different? is true, but when I started yeah. at that time, no, I didn't have an inspiration like that. I didn't. Okay, now I should rephrase the question. Uh, so now at this time, is there anybody in the brow field that you might relate to that has that that it equate to? That well, I got your same vibes. As far as like, all right, she's smooth. Um, it's this place called. It's in the UK, and this girl named Melanie. She is the owner of Brow Co. And I can definitely say she was kind of an inspiration for me. Um, especially starting She Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, she has her own brow technical company in the UK. Yeah, so I would definitely say she's one of my inspirations. Um, it's a few girls on Instagram that I follow now that I have seen their work um, that is different from mine, but they have their own different styles. But I just like how they run their business and stuff. Um, one of the girls is Gigi. Uh, Gigi Brown, she's in Atlanta. So. Yeah. I heard you say she brow. Is she brow a product that you use or somebody else's product? What is, what is she brow? She brow is a technically like a cosmetic company. Who? So it's mine. Excuse me. Wait, world, did you hear that world? <laughs> Hold on. She brow is a product invented by the one and only BBK. Give it up. Talk to us about that. So um, I started she brow last year when I moved to Charlotte. 
and basically I created this brow tint product that I use on my clients and also I provide for other beauty professionals as well to use on their clients. So how do you purchase She Brow? And where do you go to get the She Brow? On www.browsbykiki.com. <laughs> uh, everything is on there. I also do trainings as well. Um, I teach micro shading. I teach brow tinting as well. And I also have online trainings that you can also purchase if you are not able to make it inside of an in-person training. She Brow is also on there. And I also have two good selling ebooks if you are looking to start a business. One last question. <clears throat> Where are you currently doing brows at? Uh, as for if somebody wanted to schedule an appointment with you, where are you currently doing brows? Like you on my address? No, just the location. Oh, Charlotte, North Carolina, in the Noda area. Um, that's it. Anywhere else? When you come back to the city? <laughs> when I come back to Dayton, Ohio, my hometown, these cuts barber shops. You see it? Shallow Springs. You see it? Stop, <laughs> sure. Stop playing games, you man. You know what I'm okay. Well. <laughs> I want to shout out Kiki, BBK, aka Kiwana. That ain't how you say it. You oh, say it. I'm sorry. How you say it? Kiwana. Okay, Kiwana. Watch your attitude, though. <laughs> it's been a pleasure doing an interview with you. We're going to sit here and chill for a minute, wait till the food come out. Then my man Trey going to take over. Thank you, world. BBK, aka Kiwana. Eyebrow facts. As far back as ancient Greece, the unibrow was recognized as a beautiful trait. In ancient Egypt, both men and women wore makeup. Heavily lined eyes were the focal point of the face. Bacon, tomatoes, and a little bit of onion chai, whatever they call it. I ain't a big fan of them, but it is what it is. And then, uh, tender raw meat, you know what I'm saying? I think I need one of them. Look good. You get pushed out. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, back to the brow game business, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever encountered with some weak eyebrows before? As far as like you out in public, <laughs> Kicking it, whatever, doing you, and you just seen some weak eyebrows. Have you ever encountered, or what did you do when you seen them? I just gave them my card and told them they need eyebrows done. Facts, we do that too. <laughs> bow, bow, cut, swing, cut, zing. Bow, bow, cool, well, what's up, brain? Entry. You prefer yourself to be in a brow game with LeBron or Jordan? I'm like a little, I'm a mixture of both. What's your mix is like? What you mean as far as like, oh, now I'm saying your blend game, like how do you mix yourself with Le Le LeBron Brown and LeBron Brown? How you put them together like that to be so goaded up? If I would say goaded up, how would you be like that? <laughs> okay, so for one, that I did, um, my professional is the one that comes to my brows. How I do my ombre, which is like, what y'all call like a fade? My fade game is crazy. Okay. You know? Okay. And um and then the crispiness, like I got the crispiness problem. Okay. So that's like that. a, that's we have like got for that. We have got for that DCB style for you. DCB style straight crispness. But besides that, you feel good. Right? Yeah, I'm Yeah, they're playing for our stuff for real. But um, but um, besides that though. 
you are doing your thing on the Brown game. Everybody know you. Um, well, on the Brown side, just in life. I seen your Apple thing on Facebook. You're jumping. I be playing goat stuff on the underneath it. I feel like it was only one goat before I met you. You know what I'm saying? So now it's two goats. You know what I'm saying? But you number two, right? Ooh, as far as that though, we, uh, ooh. we gonna go ahead and continue to eat, smash on this food, and uh, glad that we get the interview with it. Anyway, uh, yeah, he did. He did. But anyway, it was glad doing the interview with us, with uh, Custom Cuisines, with Cool Will Supreme, and Trey. And uh, we out. That was or you just chose to do too much? I did not talk it out. I think oh, it was probably less than six months. It was probably like four or five. You talking about brown food? Yes. Yeah, you did more hours to get done quicker. Yeah, I did 10 hours a day. Is that like the same as like, uh, like barber college? Yeah. Like the, like the town? Yeah. Because yeah. no, I was part time, like, but I went full time hours. You did brown food? No, when I went, I was labeled part time for school, uh, but I, I went full time school. now, so I get done quick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I did. You time. went to Brown School too, or something? That's why I thought you said went to Brown School. <laughs> <laughs> no, your mama went to Brown School, dude. All right, I, right. I had to quit my job in order to do it, though. So, where do you think I'll test that? What you looking at? The like um, attitude. The attitude. Yeah, you got a bad, you got a bad attitude. Yeah, you, you, you think because you're a mate, you can't go back? No, yeah. I'm just saying, like, what? Columbus? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's different. Isn't that what everybody does? Right, so it's you went back, you go and dip brown, and they went and check it. I don't think it would be the same school, would it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So how did you lean the, the people in the back of your brown? Or you did like a uh, a book test? No, we had to. Hands on. Yeah, we had to do the computer test like everybody else, and then we had to do the hands on. We don't do no computer test. So you had to have oh, a model. So, we yeah, had to do that. Did you have to have somebody come and model on, or did you? Uh, we had the little fake. Oh, the fake hands. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. oh, see, I ain't. Yeah, the Cosmetology yeah. Board in Columbus, they have us like a group of, I want to say it was like 10 or 12 of us. Mm -hmm. We all went in, everybody took the test on the computer, which is the written test. And then we had to go do a clinical test. Yeah, I thought that they used like, to make you bring a model in. Yeah. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it sounded like. Uh, yeah, I it sounds like to me you forget where you came from. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm getting from. Yeah, a bunch of bad attitude, energy, and stuff. I don't think we take a test. At the, I'm in the barber and cosmetology board. Like with that. You fall into that category? Yeah, I can't be because I ain't never seen Esthetician, doing brows. Esthetician, cosmetology. Yeah, your attitude's got to go. <laughs> that is totally unnecessary, man. You forgetting where you came from. How am I Because you so called BBK. Tijuana Ford. <laughs> but I ain't never seen you know, people doing brows in the crowd. You know, there's a different body. Bootlegging out here. Esthetician with the facial, body waxing, brows, makeup, all that. Yeah, all that. So, do you ever break away from brows and do any of those other esthetician products? Nice question. I just got my brows and I just that. But I did go through like trial and error of like, you know, I tried to do lashes, did the makeup for a little minute, and then I just did like brows and I just did the same. I'm trying to see you like you though. Can I like practice over you? Show me. No. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. And special shout out to my man Trader Great for guest hosting.